Okay, so we're going live. Hi friends. Let me just give it a couple seconds to kick in. Okay, I think we're live. Hi friends, Lindsay here for Swing Design. I hope you're having a great day so far. And uh, I'm so glad you're here because we're doing a super cool project. I love this. This was, this was one of the first um, sublimation products projects that I ever ever did um, so I've already spilled the beans we're doing a sublimation um, project um, but onto a reverse sequin pillow so I'll show you what that is um, but the sublimation printer that we're using is the Sawgrass 1000 um, but you can do this with the 500 as well the only difference between the two um, is you know the max capacity like, like how large you can print so Anyway, if there's anybody out there and you can hear me, I would love if you could just say hi. Um, that way I know um, the sound's working all right and everything. Um, but otherwise, I think we can just go ahead and get started. So we're kind of, kind of gonna be moving around uh, the craft room today. So um, just hang in there, because I wanna show you the Hello, sorry, I got the window open because my heat press is on and it because it's like 100 degrees in here. <laughs> okay, because sublimation has to be done like at a really high temperature. So hi Celeste, thank you so much for being here. Hi Cheryl, thank you. And we have Linda, good morning, Evelyn. Thank you, thank you. All right, so here's the pillow. It measures about 15 by 15. Anyway, um, the sequins are white on one side, and when you brush your hand over it, then you can switch it to the silver side. Um, and what's really cool is you can sublimate onto this white side. So that's what we're going to be doing. I mean, imagine if you had a pillow, or you know, your daughter, or um, yourself, you know, had the a cool pillow sitting, you know, on your desk or chair or whatever, um, and then you just flip it over and then you reveal this design. That is so, so cool. So, um, that is what we're doing. Um, so, let's go ahead and move all these back to the white side. And you can get, you guys can get these uh, pillows um, online. I've seen them on Amazon. Um, there's also like a small version that you can get at the Dollar Tree. Okay, I think that's good. All right, so and then I want to show you um, the printer itself. So we'll come on over here. Sorry, let me move the mic. Told you we were gonna be all over the craft room today because we're using we're using everything. Okay, so this is the Sawgrass 1000, and um, I already have this special paper loaded in there. So um, if you're not familiar with sublimation, basically what it is is the ability to use these special papers and ink that you can print out and then transfer that artwork onto a surface, um, like a polyester surface. So like a polyester shirt or these polyester sequins, um, you know, coasters, license plates, dog tags, so many things that you can do. So, um, oh, hi, Deb, Amy. Thank you so much for being here. Um, so I'm going to show you the design that I want to use because you can use just about any design you want. So let's go on over to my screen display over here. And I like to use Silhouette Studio. Um, there is uh the creative studio which is like sawgrass's design area and so i want to show you that and so that's included with everything so they have this start creating area and what's really cool i like about this is that you can find you know products that you're actually working on so um, under home decor there's the flip sequin pillow and it's the exact dimensions of the, the one that I have. Um, it tells you how big the print area can be and it even gives you 
time and temperature and pressure settings or recommendations. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be pressing at 356 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius for 120 seconds. And now I know the printer is not ready. That's okay. It kind of just cycles in and out between being ready and, and I haven't used it like in 20 minutes. So <laughs> it is just um, taking a little break there. So um, what I like to use is Silhouette Studio to do my designing area, but you can use that um, creative um, manager too. Um, so I'm just going to open up the design and I want to use this um, I, I Heart You design. And what I think is really cool is you can basically print out whatever you want. So I decided that I'm actually going to just print out this heart and then I was thinking okay well I don't want the heart to be just plain white I want to be able to add a fill color to it so um, if you've got special digital patterns that you've downloaded then you could fill that design and really customize this for anything that you know, to any any way that you want. So I'm using a cool tie-dye pattern. I've already set it up here, which I think is so cool. So I just added that tie-dye um, pattern, fill pattern, digital paper to the back of the heart, and I de deleted the I and the U. So it's just the heart now. So then basically you just go to print. Now I'm on a Mac, so I can access the print, the Sawgrass print manager directly from Silhouette Studio. Um, if you, or excuse me, I'm on a PC, so I can uh, um, access the print manager directly from Silhouette Studio. If you're on your, if you're on a Mac computer, you can't. So you would have to like save this as a JPEG, um, and then, or you know, go directly through the um, creative, so you know, their creative software. Okay, see, it says the printer is ready. Perfect. So I'm going to file print. And it's just going to. Now, one thing that you do want to be aware of is if there was. Let me go to print. And I um, I'm see I can access the Sawgrass print manager. I'm going to click print. And so one thing that you do want to be aware of with your designs is if you're using any kind of text or if your design isn't symmetrical, like this heart isn't completely symmetrical, you need to mirror the design. And, you know, in design programs, you can usually do that by flipping the design horizontally. Um, or in the print manager, there's this option here to mirror it. So you can see that the design has been flipped backwards and that's how it's going to print. And I am, since I'm using the uh, SG-1000, um, I've got 11 by 17 inch paper here. So I size this to, I think, 10 and a half inches wide, which is what I love so much about being able to print bigger is that uh, you can, um, you know, make these really cool, like, bigger projects. So um, the, the, uh, settings are all how I need it to be the paper the print quality the substrates polyester You know, there's other things that you could put on here, but um, I'm just gonna go to print and That should print let's just um, flip you on back to the webcam over here and that should do its thing. I'm gonna check the design for uh or um facebook for comments um linda's ask, um, asking can you sublimate on both dark and light colored materials oh that's a great question so um in fact so, so this might take like a second um i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera well no we'll keep it there um and i'll show you my shirt so um you need to uh uh sublimate on to um, polyester um, and it needs to be a light color so white is ideal because when you sublimate onto white you're gonna get the brightest um, you know truest um, value of the color um, you can't I, I I'm actually wearing a 
shirt right now that's gray um, that is 50% polyester. So um, I wanted to see what happened when I uh, subl sublimated onto it. So because it was 50% um, polyester um, and it was gray, um, it came out really dull and faded and I can show you what it looks like. Um, but it actually kind of turned out cool looking. So um, yes, I would definitely recommend light colors, white um, if possible. So, okay, it's printed out and maybe some of you are thinking okay that does not look anything like the heart that you printed it's so dull and faded that's okay it's it's supposed to look like this um the colors will transfer bright and vivid onto the actual um project so what i am going to do is um actually let's I'm going to push this back a little bit because I want to cut off this extra part and you can use scissors but I don't know I just like that really straight straight line so I'm going to use my paper trimmer <laughs> oh you're welcome Linda <laughs> and I'll show you my shirt in just a second um and you can see that um on the 50 percent polyester then it doesn't come out as bright and on the gray it's not as bright all right so i'm going to trim off the excess here and you can use scissors i like to use my um paper trimmer just because <laughs> i like that straight line okay so then um let's go ahead and then go back to the um pillow so there it is and then here's the design. And then another thing that, I'm gonna move the microphone closer. Another thing that is a good idea to use is heat transfer tape. Um, so let me pull mine out. I thought I had one that was already open, but whatever, it just looks like this. Um, and basically it's just um, a tape that can withstand the high temperatures and this is going to keep the design press or you know onto the surface so it doesn't accidentally shift while pressing because then you can get something called um, ghosting and basically you know what happens is the design slightly shifted during uh, pressing and you know you kind of get like this it's not as clear and crisp. All right, so I need to open this. Just give me a second here. So I thought I had one that was already open, but apparently not. And I guess you need scissors. Okay, and you just need a few. Okay, here we go. You just need a few um, pieces. Okay. So again, you want to flip to the white side. And I have sublimated onto, um, I had one of these pillows that was white on one side and rose gold on the other side. And I sublimated onto the rose gold side in black and it came out really, really dull. Um, so even though I used a dark, deep black, um, the lettering just was really, really dull. So um, it's best to sublimate onto the white side. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure they're all pressed. And um, actually this, there, this was folded, so I'm gonna actually press it quickly first to flatten it out. And I'm just pressing it between um, Some parchment paper and another thing I want to point out is that there's a zipper on on here um, you need to make sure that the zipper is hanging off of the platen so so like see hanging off like that um, because you will melt the you will melt the um, zipper if you don't and then decide if you want yeah I want it like this 
so I'm gonna flatten these out again. Go ahead and put this on and I'll just press it for like a couple seconds. Oh, actually, and that'll give me a chance to test out my pressure because I must have been using a pressing pillow before because the pressure is like really, really loose. Okay, perfect. So just a couple seconds. This is the StarCraft heat press. Um, the platen is 15 by 15. And so I have a nice big area for this. And I think that's probably pretty good. I might do it one more time just so I can try and get it as flat as possible so we can get the best transfer. So if you guys are just joining me, we are about to sublimate onto this reverse sequin pillow. I already printed out the, the design um, from the Sawgrass 1000 um, sublimation printer. And I have links to um, these printers in the description, both the 1000 and the 500. Um, and so you can take a look at what's gonna work best for you. With the 1000, you can press 11 by 17. And then there's a bypass tray option, so you can print like even larger, like even longer than that too. All right, so let's put that in there and press it again, just so it's nice and flat. And I think that's probably pretty good. Okay, so then let's just bring it back over to my surface over here so I can tape it down. Sorry, I will check comments in just a second. Um, if you have questions, um, but I think somebody was answering questions in there too, which is really helpful, so thank you. All right, so there it is. I kind of pressed out that seam a little bit. Um, but then I'm gonna basically just center this as best I can and tape it down. And then you need to find the edge of the tape, which Oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, here it is. <laughs> it's like invisible. All right, so I'm just gonna peel off a strip. And let's actually, oh, sorry. Um, let's do a strip at the top. and the bottom. I'm gonna smooth it out really, really well. Because you do want to make sure that you have um, good contact between the transfer, the printed transfer, and then the substrate that you're uh, transferring onto. And then the tape gets all knotted up. Okay, here we go. And then I'm just going to cut a piece right there. Um, and maybe that didn't really catch that edge really well. So I'm going to do one more. So here we go. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the heat press and I'm going to carefully put this on. And I've already set the heat press to 356, which is the uh, recommended temperature, 356 degrees Fahrenheit. Remember, I want that zipper hanging off the edge. Then I'm gonna cover it with a Teflon sheet or parchment paper. And then the timer is set for 120 seconds. So 
let's go ahead at medium pressure. Let's go ahead and press that. <laughs> and then I'll check comments if, in case there's um, any um, pressing questions, but I'll go back through and see um, if there's anything. Oh, yes, Amber, thank you for answering, Linda. Wonderful. And Celeste, I got my swing design pink heat press, and I love it. Ah, oh, wonderful. You haven't tried it, though. <laughs> Come on, Celeste. Um, you want to start crafting. Um, so this is counting down 120 seconds. Um, and the, the um, heat press will beep and let me know that it's ready. Um, if you liked the design, uh, the heart design, and then that tie-dye digital paper background, I have that linked in the description as well. All right, so we're down to about a minute. So we are pressing onto a reverse sequin pillow. So it's white on one side, and then when you flip the sequins up, um, it's silver on the other side. But there's different colors available too. Um, but you want to press on the white side. You're going to get the most bright and vibrant results. Um, and we printed with the Sawgrass 1000, um, which, of course, I have linked in the description as well. But also the, the SG500, um, which is a little bit smaller. Uh, so you can choose, you know, what's going to work best for you, as well as inks and paper, because you do need a special sublimation ink and paper. And, okay, so we're coming up on 20 seconds. And then one thing I wanted to point out is that this was so easy to set up. Like it, the setup was like just no, like uh, no uh, fail, you know? It was just like super easy and. Whew. Okay, so it's gonna be really, really hot. So let it kind of cool down a little bit, not too much. Um, but I'm just going to get under there with my tweezers and then I'm just going to rip it up. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Ah! <laughs> All right, so here is um, the transfer. Um, so, you know, you can see that the ink has transferred onto this. Um, and that turned out so cool. Okay, so I want to let it cool down. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with that. All right, so let's turn off the press. And then bring it back to my work surface. I want to let it cool down completely before I mess with it. But basically... All you would need to do now, it, you know, after it's cooled down, is then you'd put in your, your pillow. So let's kind of let it cool down because I really want to see it. <laughs> and it's by the window here, so hopefully it'll cool down rather quickly. I love this. So I use this design, um, didn't originally come with this tie-dye background. But in Silhouette Studio, I just added it and I think it looks awesome. It's so cool. I love color. And that's what um, is awesome about sublimation is that you can print just about anything, any design. It looks really cool. All right, so, all right, so that is good. Let's go ahead and stuff this in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to watch me stuff the pillow. <laughs> but I really want to see the, I want to I wanna show you guys um, the finished result. And this is the back of the pillow. It's just, it's just white. All right, give me just a second. I'm going to kind of play with this a little bit. Really stuff the pillow in there. This would be so cool. Um, 
well, I guess when, you know, we can get together again um, to do for like a birthday party. Um, and you could have people pick out their design and pick out their pillow. All right, let's go with the program. Here we go. All right, so st stuffed it in. I'm gonna shake it out. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I'll zip it up. And then we'll do the magic reveal. This was super, this was um, super easy. Honestly, it's just print and press. And setting up the printer was super easy. It's um, uh, wireless, and that was super easy to, to um, set up too, so I don't have to connect it to my computer via a cord, but you can if you want to. Okay, so here it is. And let me just raise this up a little bit. Okay, so here's the pillow. Lovely. And then let's go ahead and flip it to the other side. And they're a little stiff at first after you press them. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. Give me a job. There we go. Okay, so you can kind of see it from this angle, but when it's like laying down, you can't even really see it at all. <laughs> all right, and then we'll do the reveal and we'll <laughs> show you the reveal the heart, the rainbow heart. That is so cool. I totally love that. Oh my gosh. Super, super fun. Um, Sawgrass 1000 with the Starcraft heat press on a reverse sequin pillow. Um, so I, and that's all I had. Um, I'm going to turn the camera back. Hello. And I'm all flushed because it's like super hot. <laughs> um, but I also wanted to show you my shirt too. So this, um, is 50% polyester and it's gray. And so because of that, it came out dull and faded but I kind of liked I wanted I was testing this anyway and I kind of liked that I thought it looked you know kind of like distressed and grungy or whatever so I, I thought it was cool so yeah if you're pressing on um, something that's not white um, and if it's not 100% polyester then it's not gonna be as bright so um, anyway, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching you guys. This was a really fun project. Um, I'll probably take some pictures and um, post them in the comments so you can see um, the finished. Um, take a look at how cool it is. And anyway, if you do have um, questions, um, then you can post them in the comments and then we'll go through them and try and um, answer them for you. So anyway, um, I hope that you have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Bye.